Okay, everybody, we're going to do a quick video here on updating Microsoft Outlook or Office 365 with an administrator license to allow you five instances to authenticate uh, five activations, usually on that with one administrator. Standard or premium work best. Uh, in this example, we're going to use one of our customers to uh, have to do the same thing as you guys need to do. So what we're going to do in Outlook is you always want to go to File. And then once uh, you click File, you're going to go to Office Account. First thing you always want to start with is the updates. Make sure you do the updates. Now, in some instances, you actually have to do the Premiere update, which is not part of this Outlook 365. In that case, what you would do is you would actually go into the Office Account and log in with that administrator login that you are given to activate the licenses. Once you do, you're going to do an install apps. And you're going to do the premium Microsoft 365 watch, which will give you the update that you need. Um, that's, I would say, one out of five cases for you to have to do that. On this example, we're not actually going to do that. We're actually just going to go on here and we're going to change the license. The current license they're using for this customer is Office License Labs, which is an old one that they don't use anymore, and it's not an admin account. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to change license. This also worked for your instance. We're going to use a different account license, and we're going to sign in. In your example, you're going to be using your admin license that you have for activation, which is going to be this one here. We're, going to, we're not going to use it, obviously, for my account, but let me paste it so you can see what it is. Let me paste this guy there it is so you're gonna use that one there we have our own so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that and then we're gonna enter ours once it's entered what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna go to Microsoft servers for activation It'll take a second, especially on the weekends. If you're doing us on a weekend, Microsoft 365 activation server seems to be a little bit slower. Uh, and then we're going to put in our password. Once you're entered that, what it's going to do, it's just going to take you to another screen. Now, this is an important screen. You do not want to click that and allow to use the entire organization because this will convert your local account into a cloud account and want you to log in with 365 at your login profile. You don't want to do that. You just want to sign into this app only. Once it's completed, what it's going to do is it's going to update and let you know that it's about to activate. This is the piece that we are looking for. Now, if you do exceed the five licenses, it will tell you that you have exceeded and it'll want you to remove somebody. So then that's when you want to decide to use another account. You'll notice now for a second, this will actually change in a minute. The three, this is the local subscription here, but the activation, you'll notice that it's 365 PROD. Now there is an update and a reboot that you have to do. For this instance, once you're done, you want to switch it back to the user's account. What I do is I'm just going to switch it out. I'm not going to sign it out because I need the activation to kick in place. So I'm just going to switch it and then put it back on the original user account. I know my user account on this instance is Martha. So I'm going to switch it over to Martha because I know that's her account. And then once I'm done with that, as long as the updates have ran, you wanted to go ahead and restart not only Outlook, but the system. So in the registry, it knows how to activate it. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that. I'm not going to delete her out items. And then we're going to restart the system. And that's pretty much it. The only thing now is I just restarted the computer. So now I'm going to go reopen Outlook now that I've logged back into Windows. And we're just going to make sure that the activation took and that there is no issues with her licensing as she should be using the new license.